Hey, what's up, everybody? Jeremy Callahan coming at you to show you how I um, use my front-end code to make hybrid mobile apps. So if you're a front-end developer, this is for you, and I'm just going to get into it. So the first thing that I have is I develop in Sublime Text, and so what we do is just develop everything just like a normal front-end engineer would in CSS, JavaScript, and HTML. There are some things you would have to know, like this config file and whatever, but you can get deeper into the weeds with that. I just want to show you the general process that we use. So we have all these files here, and then you'll need two accounts. One will be on GitHub, and then you'll need a PhoneGap build account. You could also compile this your own if you want to in Xcode or something like that, but I'm just going to show you how I do it with the whole with an online process. So now that I have this code, I just come over and I have just a, a desktop GitHub thing, and it's just the same thing. However you do your commits, that's up to you. It's all basically the same thing, but we can sync this up. So now we're just syncing up. We're going to have this in the GitHub repository. And when you come into PhoneGap Build and you create an account in PhoneGap Build, you can connect your Git to your PhoneGap Build account. So once they're connected together, there's some stuff you're going to need to do. You're going to have to kind of look around. And if you want to know more about this, you can give me a call or an email or whatever, and I'll help you out. But it's pretty easy. You just set these up. You'll see here we have a, there's these signing keys. And this is just a dev key, so it's not too hard to set up. You can actually just set it up in PhoneGap build. No big deal at all. And then right here, when I hit update code, this is going to pull the latest from GitHub. I'll just click rebuild right now. And you'll see this thing's going to start firing up. And what you'll notice right above my head here is this QR code. And what that QR code is going to do is I'll just show you. I mean, this is really cool. You get a QR code reader on your phone. And once that opens up, I'll show you what I do. I just put the QR code up, and my phone just buzzed. And if you notice, it's just going to ask me if I want to install this thing. And, you know, and then I go, okay, yes, I want to install it. And now it is installing. It's installing the code that I have on the computer, right? Or on the front end code. That, so this is just a total dev environment that's going to install this thing in. And now I can come and I can open the app. The app is, there it is. And it's going to install. And the latest stuff that I have on there is going to be on there for testing. So it's really nice to do. It's really easy to do. And it gets you set up. The other thing you can do, if you would like, is when you are working in this environment, is you can take this same code that I have, and I actually just FTP this up to a server, but you could get it into your build process however you want. And what we do is we go inspect. And again, when you inspect, you might have this view. So just click these three buttons change it to the side view, and now you have this here. If you click this one right here as well, this phone, now you'll see you can adjust this to an iPhone 6, a Nokia. Let's see what it looks like on a Galaxy S5. So there we have it. So when, when you do it internally, what you do is you develop it in the HTML, the CSS, and all that, and then you just test it in the browser. You test it in the browser, and then when you have it to a place where you think it's good, build it to phone gap build, try it with the QR code, and then everything goes well, you test it online, you have the people you work with test it, and then when that's all good, then you can actually build the IPA file and an APK file. You can't see it, I'll slide it over a little. This right here is the, is the Android side. So you can build an Android app, you can build an iOS app, all front-end code. If you're a front-end developer, get busy and start it, and get into mobile development, man. All right, I hope everybody enjoyed the video.